So it shouldn't surprise anyone that this ongoing uh, uh, sort of escapist fantasy of the uh, of the Republican Party, you know, going down to Arizona, going, you know, thinking they're going to Antrim County next and Fulton County, Georgia, and all this, and they'll go yeah. through the, the the mechanisms of this again. Oh, there he is. Um, uh, <laughs> in in these folks going through, you know. Again, a lot of these folks are actually true believers. There are a lot of these folks, and I, I would gladly debate any of them about any of this stuff because I have, because of how I chose to stream over the last year and during lockdown switching to this kind of daily stream, I have watched more of this evidence than most of them have. And, and some of these people are on online 20 hours a day. And as I go through this, I, I am increasingly convinced that... Um, Matt Gates is a poser with that crowd. And that will ultimately be the thing that messes him up, that will they'll throw a monkey wrench in his system. Um, is that they're aware of this. That, you know, when he goes up to Wyoming and 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 campaigns against Liz Cheney and the like, it's it's opportunistic. And in the case of, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, she's a true believer. And as they tour around. After a while, I, I have a feeling she's going to start getting the idea that he's just nodding whenever she starts talking crazy. And, because that's what they do. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you guys for the super chats and the support today. It's the House Park Radio Program, Mega Worldwide. We're on every Saturday. And of course, I live stream every day. You can help us out and support the show by going to patreon.com slash Um and... Um, and and pledging to support, we're looking. We're trying to get to our thousand marker just so that we can have one tenth of the supporters of the right wing world m at minimum. Um, so I, you know, as we look over this, you know, the next couple of weeks of them doing these these tours, Trump is going to follow behind them. Trump has announced that he is going to be doing some rallies. They, now, in the, he, he announced this during his interview with with uh, Chanel Rion. Rion! And mm -hmm. um, Chanel Rion. And um, while he was uh, saying this, there was a really harsh edit in the interview, which means he started saying, we're going to go here, here, and here. And then somebody went, we're not going there. And then he went, oh, <laughs> we're going to go to a lot of places. So, um, ultimately... Um, he's going to dovetail behind them. They're basically just going to open for him in all these markets. Test the waters. See who shows up, what kind of ticket price they're getting. Because these, uh, there's no reason for these to be free events. I, you know, these rallies. And he's going to start, I mean, it won't be much. All he needs is five bucks a head for security. And as to donor, you know, to donate to this, like secure your seat by donating today. That kind of stuff is going to start yeah. happening all over. Um, you know, and meanwhile, there are only three paths for uh, for Trump to go on right now, which is um, clamor about the election, which he is not letting go on that because it's too lucrative. And uh, and essentially just bash Biden as not really being president. And then bash Biden for actually being president and doing stuff. Um, this is a, fundamentally they are going to be running aground. At, you know, there's there's a limit on this, and my guess is is that come August they're going to have to punt and create a new date. But these rallies will go on all summer. There'll be a big one on Fourth of July. Trump's going to do some sort of competing Fourth of July thing, or he'll announce it and then not do it. it I mean, there's a lot going on there, but there is. Um, I'm calling it right now that there's no way Trump runs again in 2024. Just not happening. I mean, he'll talk about it as if all the way up to the day and then he'll endorse somebody and they'll kiss the ring and therefore he'll be seen as a godfather power broker, which is a lot easier to, you know, to do than actually run a real campaign again. And and he's it, there is no new tune. It's the same stuff. And one of the, it's really hard once you've been elected and you actually governed to run on the unknown identity or the the, the sorry the uh, unknown quantity idea which is you know we, well give them a chance well they gave him a chance and apparently and this is the thing that sticks out to me the most when he's clamoring about this stuff is that none of what he did lasted two months 
everything that they're saying about the the United States that it's collapsing, that everything's being eaten away from the inside, that the border is wide open. Apparently, the wall never worked. Everything works, walls and wheels, until they don't, I suppose. And then, um, you know, you've got the issues about the economy. So much for that strong foundation conversation that he kept doing. Um, it's I, I just don't know why he thinks that's a that's something worth running on. Now, I also think, and this is the the part that was really clear in that interview with Chanel Leon, was that <laughs> he, even Trump at this point recognizes that he is hanging out in the Craigslist corners of the internet. That he is not on Fox News live with a face-to-face -face on Hannity. He's giving these, like, and it's not like they wouldn't take him. It's not like Fox wouldn't have him on. It's not like Hannity wouldn't give him a whole hour. They absolutely would. Every single one of the nighttime hosts would give him a live studio interview. And he was in New York when he did the Chanel Rion interview. She did it at his office. Fox absolutely yeah. would have relocated over there and done, the, uh, done it from there. There's no question in my mind. Um, but according to, you know, you have to understand, uh, Trump's had this kind of uh, microblog thing going on for a while, right? And for those I of you still don't, think it's going to blow up. You, you do? You think it's got a oh, shot? Yeah, yeah, it's really going to take off. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Um, according, well, this is, uh, in, and this has got to hurt because it's from the technology section of the Washington Post. Trump is sliding towards online irrelevance. His new blog isn't helping. <laughs> they even oh, call that's it a awesome. blog. And first of all, it's a micro blog. He's not full blogging. He has two long rants on there, but most of them are half a paragraph or less. Um, the former president's aide said his new online presence would redefine the game, but his heavily promoted blog is seeing few visitors because you can, he doesn't realize you can actually see the real clicks it, and it's, and it's gotten so bad that Don Jr. is reading them out loud on rumble. Um, what's rumble? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, on the internet, former president Donald Trump is sliding towards something he fought his entire life. Uh, irrelevance. Online talk about him has plunged to a five-year low. He's banned or ignored on pretty much every social media venue. In the last week, Trump's website, including his new blog, fundraising page, and online storefront, attracted fewer estimated visitors than the pet adoption service Pet Finder and the recipe site Delish. Um, considering how much food I eat and how many cats I have, it's I haven't been to either of those sites, so that should give you some indication. Trump is still by far the Republican Party's biggest star, which is, again... Um, and conservative lawmakers and provocateurs are now loudly sparring over the importance of loyalty to him ahead of the 2022 midterm elections or a potential second Trump presidential round. Many of the party's potential 2024 candidates say they will not run if he does, which is what you have to say so he can make his money over the next few years. So he gives you the nod when it's time to run for the record. That's the game they're playing. Um, but Trump continued, uh, Trump's continued influence isn't translating into a bigger online audience. According to the Washington Post review of data from four online analytics firms, social engagement around Trump, a measure of likes, reactions, comments, or shares on content across Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and Pinterest, has nosedived 95% since January. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm it, talking about. To its lowest level since 2016, which was, what, before he announced that would be the lowest level um uh, yeah. yeah um yeah just slightly above his announcement just regular buzz traffic um he's at yeah so trump's biggest attempt yet to recapture america's attention has severely underwhelmed the internet and even his own advisors his from the desk of donald trump blog which i would still call a micro blog which he and his team have promoted heavily in TV interviews and social media posts. Heavily? Have they really? Don Jr.'s reading them on Rumble. Trump is doing... Is that what he's doing on Chanel Rion's interview? Is that what he's... He's pushing that? I mean, when he says, I'm able to say these things in a more elegant way, is that part of a marketing scheme? I just thought it was just a dumb statement he was saying over and over again. Is this something the marketing people have told him to say? Because that Does would you be... think he actually can be more elegant? It's, it's, no, no. It's, uh, he's obviously peaked out, but... You know, I mean, can we all, we could all wish to be that elegant. 
Um, but he, he says that all the time. This is a great, it's better. I can get out my statement. It gets, it, it gets a farther reach, he says, than when he was on Twitter, which is clearly and abundantly not true. Um, we got to take a break. Um, I, the, his, let's see, um, he and his team have promoted heavily in TV and interviews and social media, has in the last week been shared to Facebook on average fewer than 2,000 times a day, a staggering drop from last year when his Facebook fielded tens of millions of comments, shares, and other interactions every week, according to data from the social media analytics firm Buzz, Buzzumo and Facebook-owned content tracking CrowdTangle. For the record, we got to take a break. This is why Biden isn't sweating any of this. Anytime you see Biden and they're like, what if the president said this? Why, why Biden is, is going, ah, oh, God love him. I wish he was back. Don't you miss him? Um, why he's joking about this and why he's not afraid to say what he's, what he's saying? Because he's not, gonna, he's not afraid of the blowback? Because the only people that support Trump are this increasingly dwindling number hardcore Republicans and this group of maggots that is touring the country. Everybody else has moved on. The evil centrists of the Republican Party, which Trump is calling rhinos, are the ones who are actually going, you know what, I'm fine with Biden right now. He's not doing anything too crazy. This will be fine. We'll run somebody more normal next time. But can they? We'll be back. <laughs> I'm curious uh, from listeners, too, what the uh, what they think... Um, well, let me back up because we were talking during the break and I, I mentioned something to the chat room and, and they've been giving us a lot of great answers. Um, so according to this Washington Post website, to win back the spotlight, his team is working on a project they're calling Trump Media Group, which would launch this summer and could include a new social media platform of Trump's own. Advisors say Trump talks about the project regularly and gets updates from the team building it, though a final product is not ready. Uh-huh. Other advisors say he could still join another platform if he received enough money from the platform and could control the terms, which is exactly what he's looking for. This is, understand this. He, Trump is not any more than Mike Lindell is building flank. Um, <laughs> flank. Um, Trump is not going to build his own social media website. He's going to purchase or be allowed to partner with in exchange for something other than money because that's really what's going on. He's going to, license his likeness and say, I'll bring all my supporters to your channel for a slice of the pie. I don't owe you any money. I'm not responsible for the servers. You guys keep everything going, but I'm going to slap my name on it like it's a bunch of condos on the southeast side. That's what that is. And so the Trump media group, they, and so we were asking the chat room, what do you think Trump's uh, social media site will be called? Um, since flank is already taken, um, and, uh, there was, uh, th Trumper, Thumper, uh, Maggot, Best Words, which I liked. I, I thought, of course, Trump Book is a possibility. Uh, Trumpter. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, the Trump Channel. Um, the, uh, Oranger, that's a good one. I like that one. Um, my media, right, which is, uh, truthly, bigly, bigly media, you, 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 uh, are you on bigly yet? Bigly would actually be a good name for it. That would actually work. I'm not kidding. Don't bigly let them watch work. this. Bigly would totally work. I need to, somebody's got to, but somebody already owns bigly.com. They have to. They have to. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Wait, typing it. I'm afraid. Yeah, somebody owns it, but but yeah. um, that does it, they, that does not nobody it's, they're sitting on it. It's a squatter site, so they could buy it, but it right. but it it would require a lot of money to buy it. Um, squatter, <laughs> squatter, <Yeah>. the Trumpster. <laughs> There's some words that end with the er that make me have to say it in like a weird Boston New England accent. I I squatter. complete no I I completely understand um, and. Understand that this is uh, my my prediction. This is going to fail miserably, like everything else. I hope to God he tries to buy OAN or license to OAN because the Herring father son team that the, um, the pickled Herrings, um, the pickled Herring brothers who live in San Diego. Uh, it's a, it's a father and son who own it. Right wing conservative dude who sold his 
um, circuit cutting company for like $127 million and started OAN with his own cash um, and just started that as the next business. That's that's where OAN came from. Um, and it still is owned by that guy. It's a, it's like if the Sacklers ha uh, had it, except the Sattler, Sat uh, Sacklers are murderers. So I wouldn't quite call that this guy. Let's Wait, see. who if, are they? They're the people who... Uh, own run Purdue pharmaceuticals. They're the people who are behind all the emails uh, trying to oh, yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. dump opiates um, all over the country. So um, these guys, um, I, and you have, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm not holding my breath that it will even come out. That's the other thing. Um, I I don't <laughs> I don't expect it will actually happen. I think there'll be a lot of blather about it. I think he'll end up jumping on somebody else's, and they'll. And it'll be an under the table licensing agreement where they keep their name. Now, a lot of these things like HugeTube and CloudHub, which is a all white supremacist effectively at this point, um, and and certainly Rumble would be the closest one because that's where Don Jr. has been hanging out. So if they're in negotiations with any of these sites, my guess it's Rumble because they like the tough sound of it. It's why Bongino moved there. It's got this artificial machismo of having, let's get ready to rumble. And meanwhile, <laughs> if you go to their main page, it's it's like, watch this koala bear drink out of a bottle. It's adorable. And But the number one video on that is Dan Bongino's uh, daily show. So my guess is that's where he's going to ultimately land in his own way. Um, because it ain't going to be flank. Um, I keep checking in <laughs> on Frank's speech, which was supposed to launch weeks ago. I mean, it was a whole thing. And I'm showing it online right now. But th all that's left is the mobile page. Submit your mobile phone number to access Frank and watch M Lindell TV live. I have already done this. And I was rejected. Um, I don't know why. Really? I was censored. I don't know. I, I, was, I was canceled from Frank. Um, so now, I, now I gotta do. Now I gotta pull a Rudy Giuliani and get like five burner phones. Um, which, by the way, the did you hear the final number of devices? No. At Eighteen devices taken from Rudy Giuliani's place, including his ex-wife's laptop, which w they found down like behind a couch. Either, and I don't know how you lose a laptop behind a couch. You hide it. Because you know she's coming over and you're planning on keeping it because she didn't set up a password and you know you can log into her accounts and monitor them if you're trying to make sure she doesn't get money. Um, yes, patrons will be able to watch the stream of Twelfth Night tonight, Janine. Um, just uh, I'll, I'll post afterwards this afternoon. I'm going to set up the whole thing. Um, and in this, uh, 18 devices were taken, including... Um, his this ex-wife laptop you know what wasn't found there you know what 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 there was one one electronic device communication device that was stunningly not found in rudy giuliani's possession when they raided his office or his home um the alleged and i will say alleged hunter biden laptop um, oh, and, really? The one that they had and was going to blow everything up? Yeah, apparently doesn't Maybe exist. Got it. Well, and there. Uh, no one. I'll tell you why. Rudy had, and, and at one point he tells this story about how they there were three hard drives. And he's like, you want those hard drives? They're Hunter Biden's. When it, Why would you have three copies of a laptop's hard drive and not the laptop? And why, you know, and first of all, they, they had a, a warrant for his communication devices not every electronic related device in the house. Otherwise, they would have taken them, I have no doubt. But since they were not hooked up to anything, they were just there for sale, um, I suppose, to the highest bidder. Um, and he was trying to milk some news organization to buy these things. And by the time they know they're fake, he's already, you know, they can't look at them first. Of course not. To verify, They can't verify it's really a, a hard drive from a laptop. And he's got three copies of it, which means... Um, if Rudy Giuliani is telling the truth about there being uh, videos and pictures of underage girls and sexual activity, Rudy Giuliani has engaged in copying and, elicit and eliciting for sale child pornography. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Have a good <clears throat> afternoon, Rudy. Wait, what did you just say? 
Yes, Rudy Giuliani is in possession of child porn. He's made copies of it, and he is soliciting it for sale. Prove me wrong. Because there was a laptop. Now there are three hard drives. I don't know of any laptops big enough to have three hard drives, which means if the hard drives are copies, there was never any story that the laptop guy had cop had other hard drives, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody even alleges that. So that means Rudy Giuliani made copies of the hard drive, which means Rudy Giuliani found what he believed to be, and, the, and believe me, it it's all crap. But let's just go with what Rudy's saying. If Rudy is telling the truth, he found uh, pictures of underage girls engaged in sexual activity, and he made multiple copies, and he retains those multiple copies of child pornography in his possession, and he is offering those uh, up for sale to the highest bidder to pay his legal fee, uh, bills or, or fees. Or I guess maybe there's a chance that if they were real, it was blackmail, but he's obviously it's not working. So, so I, I mean, Rudy um, is officially the dumbest person on the planet. I mean, like, uh, Frangela picks an idiot of the week. Rudy should take the cake every single year from now until eternity. And so he inside the promotion of murder too. Well, he, he, yes. He's really, really descended the last, like, just the last couple of years of interviews I've seen of him. Yeah, it. I mean, I watch his uh, Rudy Giuliani's Common Sense show, and I stream it sometimes on my show. And I, I, I jokingly put fart sounds in between when he says, "Welcome to Rudy Giuliani." Common sense. And I don't know what the delay is other than old man head or right. COVID, COVID yeah. brain. Um, but it really looks like he's he's pulling a one cheek sneak. Um, and but oh, the reality is, is that everything that this guy says, if it's true, it's horrible. If it's, you know, if, if he found this laptop and it really had criminal activity and, and child porn and all kinds of awful stuff on it and he kept it. Didn't give it to the authorities, gave a copy of it to the authorities, kept the original for himself, thereby, Man. thereby destroying the chain of evidence. And there is no way that anyone could get convicted based on that evidence. Guaranteed. Even if everything he said about the Hunter Biden laptop was true, Hunter Biden would never see a day inside of jail. His uh, A public defender could get that evidence thrown out because the chain of evidence cannot be trusted. A sycophant of his father's biggest political opponent kept that laptop in his possession, out of his control for ages, gave copies of it to the authorities, but not the original, all that stuff. Like, and then the copies, and then maintain copies of this thing that he was passing out to people that he's manipulated or had time alone with the same reason they're throwing out the Arizona voting machines is the same reason you would throw out the Hunter Biden laptop in jail. So if everything Rudy said was true, Hunter Biden is a criminal who gets off, not because his dad is president, but because Rudy Giuliani screwed the pooch. And if he's lying and it's, and it's deep fakes, which is a lot of it is where they steal real emails and put stuff in or take videos and pictures and, and make mixed pictures that are real and fake and put them all together and then take real child pornography and put it on there in an attempt to do this, which is the Russians do all the time. Yeah. If then Rudy is disseminating, um, child pornography for the sake of blackmail only where the person that is the target of the blackmail or the coercion or the political damage has had nothing to do with it. He is literally harboring child porn simply for its use as a weapon, and he carries it in his own possession and is offering it for sale. It, there is no upside where Rudy Giuliani isn't in deep crap. It's crazy. We got to take a break. We'll be back right after this.